Good morning, everybody. I'm going to get try to get through a reading here after I make a statement in 10 minutes. With lukewarm coffee. I'll be reading from Ephesians, second chapter, beginning in verse 13. Ephesians 2.13. First of all, I want to say this. Only... The called remnant will understand what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit bears witness by peace within when you hear the word unrested, untwisted, undistorted, unflipped, or reversed. In other words, many places, King James twisted the word, Catholic Church twisted the word, Gnosticism twisted the word, Judaism and Talmud and Tanakh twisted the word humanity. Heaping to themselves teachers having itching ears. In other words, tell me the sloppy agape, tell me what I want to hear, tell me that it's okay to play golf seven days a week and neglect my family. I read 2.13, but now in Christ Jesus, Lord, ye who sometimes were afar off are made nigh or close by the life given ransom payment once for all forever. And that would be the Lord Jesus Christ himself. The ransom payment for life. Verse 14. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition. Enmity, partition, a dividing wall. Partition between us. And this is talking about Greek and Jew. Gentile and Jew. Verse 15, having abolished in his flesh body the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in the ordinances, the oral law of the Jews, the law of Moses, Talmud and Tanakh, ordinances, for to make in himself ransom of twain or two, one new man, so making peace. We got peace for the second time, true witness. Now we'll read the peace for the third time. 2.16 of Ephesians, and that he might reconcile to reinstate in friendship and love, reconcile. And is this reconcile for the second time or the first time? And he might reconcile both unto God in one body beyond the cross. Only the remnant will get this. Do not stop at the cross. It's through and beyond the cross. Do not stop at the blood. It's through and beyond the blood. It is eternal life through and beyond the grave. It is coming out of the grave, walking in the newness of the one new man and ascending, ascending, ascending to a heavenly kingdom, immortality dwelling in the light. I read on, verse 16 again, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body beyond the cross, having slain the enmity, enmity for the second time, the enmity dividing wall, as if there is a difference and there is not, all humans must be born of the Holy Spirit, sealed of the Holy Spirit, word truth. Verse 17. 
and came and preached peace for the third time, major doctrine. Okay, came and preached peace to you, which were afar off the Gentiles, and to them that were nigh, Israel. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. How am I doing on time here? Oh, I got plenty of time. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto El Father El Yon Highest. 19. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens, joint heirs, joint heirs of an inheritance of eternal life with the saints and of the household of God, glory, light, inheritance, heavenly kingdom, immortality, dwelling in the light. 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. What did I write there? Prophet teachers. Christ Jesus himself ransom, being the chief corner rock. Upon this rock I shall build my church. He was speaking of himself, not Peter. Peter is a foundation stone. The Lord Jesus Christ is the corner rock of God's living temple, which we are, living temples. 21, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth. This is a living building. It grows unto an holy living temple in the Lord, in whom ye are also builded together for a habitation of God through and beyond the one spirit holy spirit in 22 access by one spirit in 18 and it's all about the spirit the spirit the spirit the spirit from beginning to end the spirit moved and spoke and said let there be light and thus the spirit says come and take of the tree of life and the water of life freely Yah, short form name of the Father, short form name of the Son, the one spirit holy is Yah. Yahshua, Shua, five, salvation, redeemer, deliverer, reconciler unto glory, eternal life. Love you. Bye.